We're doing a family chat challenge. Mystery ingredients. We're doing an appetizer and an entree. And we're finding out now what it is. All right, so there's two, so there's two rounds. There's two rounds. And we don't know, when, when are we opening up these ingredients? One spot with Melissa get back to the phone. All right. Okay. Yeah, but there's another spot with Melissa. Okay. Yeah, but there's another spot with Melissa. Okay. Yeah, but there's another spot with Melissa. Okay. Two points extra for a drink. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Putting my, like, I, I've never cooked, like, two things. I mean, I've cooked sides and stuff, but... Uh, like a full blown out appetizer. I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do, even though I don't even know what's in here. I've been strategizing all week. Yeah, I mean, Domino should be here soon, so it's going right on the top of the pizza. It was a great suggestion somebody made. All right, you're gonna look. There's the kitchen, guys. We're going to see, and I don't, I'm going to show you guys what each of these ingredients are. And it, this was sent priority mail from my mother-in-law to all of us. So we'll see. So there, there's two rounds. There's an appetizer round. We get 30 minutes. And then there is an entree round. What do we get? An hour for the entree round? Yes. Wait, how long do we get for the appetizer round? 30. So 30, 30 minutes. We have 30 minutes for the appetizer round. And then we have 60 minutes for the entree. So there's six ingredients. Two have to be used for appetizer. And four ingredients have to be used for the entree. So... They dropped out, but nobody's, they're not, not they're not, they're not back in yet. Oh, here they come. So this is our second one. So Nancy cooked last time. So this is everybody. So wave guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so now the other person's cooking this time. So here, here we go. Can you turn your volume up? Nancy Mom's going to tell you which two ingredients are for the appetizer. You have half, half an hour to do your appetizer. If you finish early, you can continue on to your main course. For your main course, you have an hour, so that's an hour and a half total. You get 20 points for each course and an extra two points for your cocktail. Are you guys ready? We are ready. Okay. Open your boxes. While you're opening, I'm in. Eight twenty. All right, so we got. All right, so here are the ingredients, guys. We have. We have Tabasco pepper jelly. Ooh, that sounds good. And then we have ooh lump crab meat. I could do something with that. And then we have. Natural canned chicken breast. I've eaten this many times, actually, so I know how that works. Two proteins. Mm -hmm. And then we have is I believe. What is this? I think I think this is a parsnip. Parsnip or a radish? Parsnip or a radish? Oh, I was hoping for something crunchy. Yes. Oh, these are delicious. So we have Goya Maria cookies. This is a good box. I'm liking it too. And what do we have here? And then the last thing. Are these are cute jars. Oh, this is cute little jars. What is this? Oh, bee pollen. Oh, is it bee pollen? Bee pollen. Bee pollen. Bee pollen. Bee pollen. 
And then we have bee pollen. So crab meat and cookies have to go into the appetizer, and I know exactly what I'm doing already. <laughs> and mind you, I don't like seafood, but like I don't think crab is too bad. So I'm going to be doing a crab cake. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like a crab cake. So I'm using, I got the, the jumbo lump crab meat, and then I have the Maria cookies, and I think these are a little bit sweet. I'm going to grind them up, I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to pan fry the crab cake. Good. Smells fishy. Yep. It's crap. Yep. Yep. vegan mayonnaise so I'm gonna be doing well I mean I need, I need a binding agent Emily's trying to sift the cookies Work it. That's why I... Kayla why is Adrian not being your cameraman uh, clearly not as good. Oh, there he is he, I, I saw there was a tilt good Parsnip, but I don't know the difference. <laughs> I have no idea. Is this a parsnip? I think it sounded like the same thing. I just know it's not a rutabaga. Okay. It's a parsnip. It's a parsnip. Okay. Did you crush all of the cookies? I did. Oh, no going back now. Truffle oil. Okay, M has a fine cookie dust. Club friends, get your credit cards and mirrors out. Yeah, 
did you just stick your licky hand right in there? No. No. Yep, pretty good. Oh man, I just have an idea based on what you were doing, and I doubt you're gonna do it. Let's see, maybe she will. Yeah. You guys, it's a turn up, not a car step. It is a turn up. up. I knew it. Turn up. What, yeah. Why don't you turn up. tell them like how, what we what we do to get the uh, like the boxes? But the real question is, turn up for what, Emily? Yeah. Like, turn up for what meal? <laughs> Does anybody know what a turn of tastes like? No. It doesn't really taste like anything, to be honest. I'm gonna learn what it tastes like today. Emily, what are you getting? Oh, you got there. Can't wait. Bob, are we inside a cabinet? Uh, you were on a shelf underneath of a cabinet. <laughs> uh, my camera person uh, is coming. Uh, sure. Let's just say we have uh, a lot of artistic letterboxing going on. Okay. <laughs> Kayla, what, what have we got there? <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to eat it. There's like nice. Lab. Oh, what? The chef's taste doesn't work. Oh, never mind. Alright, Em. We got crab meat, tartar sauce, and kooky with some paprika. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adrian, are you eating the spicy sriracha? I saw that. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating my appetizer. From at off screen, I see a sneaky pinky just like <laughs> Oh, God. Crab cake Oreo. <laughs> crab cake Oreo? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Show it to us one more time there, Kayla, so I'm like the same. There you go, Em. Um, mini. You can eat that. Uh, I'm going to take a photo first. Oh, no. So here's what we got going on here. Remember, that's the main course. So we got, so we had to use two ingredients. So jumbo lump crab meat. Um, and Maria cookies, which are right here. So what I did was, I, um, so I, I, uh, actually I made a crab cake. Um, so I, I grinded up the, uh, I grinded up the uh, Maria cookies. I used some, uh, avocado oil mayonnaise as a binding agent. Um, and now I'm sauteing it in, uh, truffle oil. What the heck? You guys have so much truffle all around here. The last time you guys were using real truffle, now you got truffle oil. Always. Always. Yeah, it's a truffle household. Yeah. It's a truffle household. Man, how many koi ponds do you guys have over there? Three. <laughs> um, the appetizer has to include crab meat and cookies. Ooh, so. It looks like opposed to crab cakes. Is there anyone joining? Food. So this is bee pollen. Yeah. So we've got to use bee pollen. What is that? Tabasco you know much I love jelly. Tabasco. And chicken breast. Parsnip. Whatever that no, tastes like. No, Maria cookies. No. So Scott's already uh, creating yeah. a crab cake, um, which. Okay, so Kayla's already digging in the main course. Interesting. Um, it hasn't even been ten minutes yet. This is Gary's kitchen. It's about efficiency over flavor. Yeah, so we have 30 minutes for the appetizer. That's going right Kayla, now. I, I got the crab cake going over here. I'll show you. I have them sauteing, um, pan frying them in, um, in some truffle oil. So I got Maria cookies ground up with some vegan mayonnaise, jumbo lump crab meat, a little bit of spices, a little parsley, a little garlic powder. 
Um, and then I'm going to get on to the entree, uh, which we have to use four ingredients, which we have to use this uh, lump chicken breast. We have to use this Tabasco jelly, which I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do. This is a parsnip, is that right? Yes. Parsnip, and this is bee pollen. Hey, Bob, what are you looking for? I have a good idea what I'm going to do, actually. You also feel super fun with Bob right now, how he's, how he's put us inside a cabinet. So we got the chicken. Hey, Google, what's a recipe for parsnip fries? <laughs> Okay, I'll call it in the Google. Those are a little bit brown there, Emily. Blending right. it into the temple of the pan. Are you Good thing you have three extras. Uh, okay. Might want to not put out something and put those in. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure how they react to that, but yeah. So I'll show you guys. They're pan frying up nice and nice and golden brown. So there are the crab cakes. I think, you know, this is the first time I'm ever making crab cakes. And then I'm going to get to the entree in a second. How are you feeling about the challenge so far? Uh, it's a turnip. It's really not that spicy. It's sweet. Yeah, it sounds like a 
Mom, what had, you. Mom, what had to be refrigerated? What? What had to be refrigerated? At the turnip, I was afraid it kind of might burn. Oh. <laughs> I don't think turnips do that. They're ground vegetables, right? Yeah, I know, but um, I thought that maybe the packages would get heated up or something, and just spoiled vegetables sounded gross, so. All right, Emily's returned from the garden with fresh miniature greens. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Alright, that pile of greens you got there. You didn't remember to wash them, did you? Yeah. We've done that. We're gonna be throwing it all over it. Oh, looks like Scott's. Looks like Scott's crab cakes are done. Cakes are done. They actually smell pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, they actually they smell really good. on this end, I'm noticing that uh, Kayla had her Oreo not very plated. Scott and Nancy also, I'm not sure how the plating will do on his uh, yeah. and we have a done plate for our appetizers. I'm going to quickly swap over to a camera. Bob, what are you doing? Can you zoom in a little? Ooh, are those crab cakes? I already took pictures of it. It's beautiful. What's that thing off to the side, to the right? This is tartar sauce. This oh. is a microgreen salad. And these are crab cake meatballs. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. It actually tastes pretty good. Oh, you already had some? Yeah, of course. You gotta taste it before you give it to somebody. Yeah, what would you have done since you used all the ingredients already? Well, yeah. Bob, what are you doing? I am finishing up my crab dip here. <laughs> to figure yeah. add something. Not bad. Nice. All right, so we've got, so far it looks like crab cakes maybe all around. I mean, crab cakes are the jambalaya of uh, crab meat, you know? That's what I've been told. No, 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 I meant that word. All right. Got some this done. Uh, Ooh, I see some rum happening. Some, some rum. Which, how many bonus points is a, a cocktail? How many? Bonus Only points? two. Okay, two you points. get two bonus points if you make a cocktail using what ingredients? 
any it has to be any of the four for your home drink. Okay, so any and of the jelly. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't it can be any of them. You know, the, the meat or the turtle? Yeah. You don't know. All right, so any of the four can make a cocktail and in the, the cocktail is uh, two bonus points. Oh. I trust her. She knows what I like, and it's very few things. Not looking like you're in love with a raw turnip, probably because, much like a potato, turnips should not be eaten raw. I thought you said you're right. <laughs> in the freezer. We lost the lid. Lid down. Oh, oh no, I grow thirsty. <laughs> I feel like the rule for this fuck, oh, sorry, I keep cursing. I feel like the rule for this game is no matter what starch product you get, you always blend it into a dust, like no matter who it is. <laughs> okay. What I, what I have going on. All right, so... Oh, no. Scott has made his appetizer, which is a delicious crab cake with a sriracha <laughs> splattering <laughs> splattering um, but it's it's binded with these uh maria cookies so he used maria cookies and i guess he ground he like i guess put them in the blender and then it was canned crab meat that's not working. It smelled Somebody else disgusting, it. but it actually <laughs> smells really good. And he used vegan <laughs> mayo. So it was like a, yeah, vegan mayo. So simple ingredients, smells good, so far so good. You guys, you guys see this presentation? Ah. Look at that. I'm rolling in some more color. <laughs> um... <laughs> Scott really uh, plated it up. I don't know, and my mom's the judge, so, so far, uh, she's not, not impressed yeah. with Scott's presentation. <laughs> Just a moment, Emily, we've got seven minutes left of the appetizer round. Wait, is that seven minutes for the cocktail as well? You bitches are so Cocktail can be done at any time. Okay. Anytime the cocktail can be done, we've got seven minutes left until the appetizer round is over. Let know it looks good. I'm gonna take a quick taste of my cocktail. I might even do a, a reverse, a reverse view. Selfie view. There we go. You need to sweet with that. Okay. We also have bee pollen. So anyone that know how to eat or you, uh, how to prepare ground bee up pollen, and put it it's a weird one. Uh, it's like a and then, I don't know if I really taste the bee pollen. It's an aroma thing. Hmm. It doesn't really taste like anything. I don't anything. really know if I smell the bee pollen. No, get that away. No, no, you can't. No, you can't just reach over the bar and put something in somebody's drink that's legal. It's a aroma. It's an aroma. We have Maria cookies. Oh. Yeah. We have Scott's using canned chicken. He's preparing the entree now. Yeah, it's hard eating and cameramanning at the same time. Should have bought that tripod on Amazon. Yeah. 
Okay, I made a Tabasco jam and beef tequila spritzer. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nice. The spritzer looks good. Yeah, and I can put jelly to stick it on there. So Kayla made so we get two two bonus points for a cocktail. So Kayla made what is it called, Kayla? It's like a a spritzer. Mmm. Tequila. 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 The our, our can opener is like I can't open a brub. <laughs> Damn it! Disqualified. Chicken from our freezer. Cinnamon. Nope. Got to be the chicken Peppers. from the can. Okay, and that's where I'm going to go with the. Uh, Say, all right, we'll go in. I love alcohol. Gotcha. I'm eating the chicken. Yeah. You know what I do with that? Do you know what I do with that, Jillian? No, maybe. He's got a parsnip hash. What is your vision here, Scott? It's, it's coming together. It's coming together? Yeah, I'm, I'm smearing the canned chicken with regular diced chicken. I'm going to saute it with some oil. And I'm actually going to add the jelly to it so it actually cooks down and gives it like a sweet and spicy like chicken. And then I'm going to do something with the, with the onions. Um, Three then, minutes left for the appetizer round. Does everyone finish their appetizers? Adrian likes to drink. Uh, Emily, yeah, can you point the, uh, the uh, other than the video towards the top? Yeah. yeah. I'm here, I'll take you guys on a walk real quick. I'll show you. You see that?
here for a little bit of a uh, crunch I added the uh, bee pollen and I'm going to be adding some spinach to give it a nice like warm spinach salad feel and I got some uh, parsnip hash uh, cooking with some uh, uh, yellow peppers right now. Emily's like <laughs> legit cooking, like having like dough happening. Your sister's so impressed by the fact that you're making dough. I gotta have the, the towel over me. So when do we when do we taste the uh, the appetizers? Yeah, we didn't fully. Oh, your judges could have eaten the appetizers for any point. I ate mine. Wait, are you serious? I thought we were supposed to present them all. Now it's very important to work cookie dough. Just take one bite. He's going in. Just pillows. Yes, you can. I did. I did. I just sent it. And just so you can see, here's what my appetizer looks like. It's got the sriracha finger painting. Where'd Emily go? I'm wearing my 
I just wanted to take a few pictures for her. I think she'd want to remember. All right, guys, I got everything on the oven, or everything is cooking. So I got a little parsnip hash. I got some onions sauteing back there with some bee pollen. And then I have some chicken here that I'm going to add this jelly to it. So stay tuned uh, for the end. I'll post a picture of what everything looks like. So hope you guys enjoyed.